Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and welcome to the latest one tip video for Sigma featuring Chrono Dota. Hi. My name is Chrono Dota, and I'm a former Contenders player and current full-time streamer and content creator. I've been practicing Sigma every day since it came out and hit 4.6k with him on the live patch. Let's kick things off with a general Sigma tip first. The most important tip for aspiring Sigma players is to learn shield management. Use experimental barrier like you would use a Winston bubble, as in use it to block important enemy abilities rather than random poke and spam damage. For example, if you notice an enemy Ananade or a Sigma rock flying out, you'd want to flash your shield up to block it. Oftentimes, Sigma players leave their shield up and just forget about it, therefore wasting their shield. And with that out of the way, let's get started. For D.Va, use Rock to set up ultimate combos with your team. Her Matrix can throw a wrench in your plans if you're trying to set up an ultimate combo with Blizzard or Graviton Surge, for example. She can't Matrix your Rock, so if she's in your sightline, you can guarantee the sun. Aside from spamming Arista Shield, you can use Map Geometry to bounce your orbs for direct hits. If you can't find an angle to do this, you can also aim so that your orbs explode right as they go over the Arisa shield, giving you splash damage onto their frontline. When Ryan has Shatter, always re-shield him when he tries to walk forward or jump past your shield. Experimental Barry is quick to deploy, so blocking Shatters using Prediction is actually relatively easy. This requires you to have the game sense to know when he has Shatter, so do your best and read his body language. For Roadhog, wait until he uses his Take a Breather ability before you toss your rock. It cancels the heal and makes the 1v1 matchup much, much easier. Also, don't forget that you can still block his hook with your Kinetic Grasp. The Sigma 1v1 matchup is decided by who lands the rock first. So to do this, meet the Sigma toe to toe, jump through his shield, and rock his face. This is important because if you're too far away, he'll have enough time to reflash his shield to block the rock. Additionally, when you see the enemy Sigma begin to channel Kinetic Grasp, you can guarantee a stun because he'll be unable to redeploy his shield. Trying to throw a rock at Winston jumping in is usually blocked by his bubble, so that's why I recommend keeping a mental note of his jump cooldown of 6 seconds and try to time the rock just before he tries to jump out to cancel it. This will catch them off guard and most likely result in a kill. Against Hammond, use your experimental barrier to clear the mines for your teammates. Additionally, the best time to begin channeling the accretion is as Hammond begins his power drive. If you time it properly, this rock will land every time, and he later and he can roll away. Aside from eating Zarya's grab, make sure to force out her bubbles if your ultimate is your main win condition. Her bubbles can completely negate the impact damage, so it's important that she does not have them. Against Ash, my tip here is to remind you to not use Kinetic Grasp against Bob unless absolutely necessary. You expend a 13 second cooldown, you're AFK for 2 seconds, and you get basically no shields in return. It's much better to just block him with your experimental barrier. Against Bastion, you need to use Kinetic Grasp like D.Va's Defense Matrix. When engaging, you should be up in his face, absorbing all the damage for your team. After that, use Accretion to force Bastion out of Sentry Mode. When you hear a Doomfist ult, deploy your Experimental Barrier towards your squishy teammates so they can use it to block all the damage. The shield doesn't have to touch the ground, but it does need to be lower than Torburn's kneecaps. When Genji uses Dragon Blade, use your Gravitic Flux after Genji uses his first dash so that he cannot escape. This is particularly useful if they combo with Nanaboost or if you don't have a defensive ultimate. Against Hanzo, you should be ready to shield dance if he decides to jump aggressively into you. Doing so will ensure that you're favored in the 1v1. Against Drumcrest Riptire, you want to shield dance and focus on destroying it. You can kill it with 2 orbs or 1 orb plus a rock. Accretion has a big hitbox, so landing it on the tire is actually easier than you think. If McCree is ulting in the open, the best option is to deploy your barrier and safely use Accretion from behind it to cancel the high noon. If Accretion is on cooldown, you can instead drop your barrier and cast Kinetic Grasp. Most McCrees will be baited into shooting their ultimate when they see your barrier go down, basically netting you 400 bonus shields. Just make sure that your team is playing behind you or out of line of sight. Mei is generally a strong counter to Sigma. If she gets within close range to you, you have two options. You can try to rock her in an attempt to win the 1v1 and force out the ice block, or you can shield dance to buy some time for your team to kill her. Against Farah's Barrage, Throw your experimental barrier directly at her so that she dies from the splash damage of her own rockets. This is more consistent than using Kinetic Grasp because the hitbox is relatively small and the barrier will still block the damage as it's flying through the air. When Reaper is committing to your backline, it's often best to follow him around with your Kinetic Grasp. Even if you aren't directly in front of him, you can prevent him from killing your teammates. A lot of Sigmas will make the mistake of shooting, but your teammates will kill Reaper if you protect them. When Soldier uses Visor, 
Put up your experimental barrier and forget about it. Visor only does a thousand damage, so he kind of sinks in this meta. If he tries to sprint past or around it, just re-angle your barrier. If you're up close, stand in his face with Kinetic Grasp to absorb all the damage for your team and to prevent him from locking onto your teammates. Most Sigma players make the mistake of trying to cancel Summer's hack with Primary Fire. However, this is far less consistent than just reactively deploying your experimental barrier. Against the Metra, keep your barrier up to protect your team, but the moment she begins to laser down, drop it immediately. You need to do everything in your power to conserve your shield so that she does not feed energy off of it. Max Energy Sim is the hardest counter to Sigma. Ensure that she doesn't get to that stage. Against Torb, it's pretty straightforward. Keep your barrier up against him, and if facing him in a 1v1, shield lance and use Kinetic Grasp as a response to his overload. You can also yoink his goo. Against Tracer, you can one-shot combo her at close to medium range if you land your rock as long as you hold your primary fire down immediately. If you take too long to aim, or if she's too close, she can recall before you execute the combo. One of the easiest ways to tilt Widow is to follow her with your experimental barrier. They waited 30 minutes to finally get a match as DPS, but you aren't even letting them play the game. If Anna is hard pocketing one of your teammates, you can cut off all her healing by throwing experimental barrier between Anna and her teammate. When Baptiste uses Amplification Matrix at mid to long range, ideally you want to get out of his line of sight. You can use Kinetic Grass to body block your teammates as you retreat. This saves you barrier health and gives you a ton of shields to work with in return. If Baptiste uses Amp Matrix at close range, you can use Kinetic Grasp to aggressively push through it so that the enemies cannot use it. Against the updated Brig, you only need to fire two volleys at her shield to break it, so shooting her shield is a good use of your time. After two volleys, her shield will break, and it'll be like taking candy from a baby. When Lucio uses his ult, the best tip would be to throw out your experimental barrier to block the beat. It's relatively hard to hit Mercy with Rock as she's zooming across the map, so you're best off saving it for when she stops to use Resurrection. If Mora has Coalescence, save Accretion to cancel it. Her ult is one of the best abilities in the current meta, and cancelling it can turn the tide of battle. Against Zen, use Experimental Barrier to cut off Transcendence healing by blocking its line of sight. Super simple, but super effective. And that's all the tips. Thank you Chrono Dota for joining me, and I'll see you in the next tip video when a new hero comes out. Thank you for having me on CarQ. You can find me at Chrono Dota on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I stream my Sigma gameplay 5 days a week on Twitch, and I'd be happy to answer questions.